Off on Llama Llama 2, we got the Egg of Creation, which I don't think I can use for a while, uh, but I did also get the number two seal, which I'm very excited about. There are likely many, many places I could still go and use that, so I think I'm just going to start today by looping through some old rooms. Now, I went through before stream while I was waiting on my uploads to finish, and I categorized my most recent images. And one thing I noticed that stuck out to me was this mention of the treasure created by Dwarven Blacksmiths was in the Gate of the Dead is where I got that. So I might go try to look for that treasure now that I got them to event flag agree to open it before I start looking through the rest of the zones for level 2 seals. Oh, shot. I also saw one that says that there's a white pillar somewhere in this room. And behind a wall, I think it said. So I might have to come at it. Oh, it's by the seal that's behind the wall. The one that's at the top of the room right now. Okay, so I'll try to find my way back up there. And I think that the dwarf chest is in here somewhere as well. So let's find out. Hey, Yahan, how's it going? How has your week been treating you so far? Can't get up that way. Go around the long way. Let's see what we can do. I had never made that happen before, so I jumped on the wall and I bounced off the wall and then the thing landed on my head is what happened. Okay. That's the one that I'm going for. I think there's a white pillar in that room according to one of the clues that I found. Glad you're get, getting some sleep at least, Jan. What's wrong there? So we don't want to jump too far to the left, basically, right? That's fine. My belief is this should reveal a white pillar, and it does. But now I have to warp. Okay, I can do that though. So it says I have to use a slight weight with the white pillars, and my guess at what that means is I have to use pepper. That was correct! Nice. That's pretty awesome. I really like the puzzles in this game. Let's see. Yeah. So this room is called what? Corridor of Sorrow. So that's one of the hidden ones. There is a NPC that tipped me off to where the other ones are. Let me go heal real quick before we explore more. Can't believe that worked. Yeah. I was trying to think what else could possibly be a slight weight, but they're definitely not kidding when they say slight on that one. Can't believe it worked moments, I think, are the moments you play this game for at the end of the day. Alright. Explore as much of the zone as I possibly can here. Don't waste that. Oh well, I think it takes forever to disappear. Oh, right. Where is this? Oh, there's ice there. That's mean. That's incredibly mean. I don't think I have any reason, I guess, to drop down from the far right side. Maybe I want that to happen. I think I'm just going to die, though. I guess we'll find out. Oh, she slips on the ice when you do that. Interesting. 
keep you from getting to the opposite side with just that power. <laughs> so maybe it's possible if I jump over the ice, but I gotta be pretty precise, huh? Guess I should figure out why would I why I would want to do that. Had a couple times where I've spent a lot of time trying to do a uh, run like that, and it's been completely pointless. Like it didn't unlock anything. Really wish I could one shot those ghost guys. Oh, it's ice almost immediately when you get in. Okay. I guess I can do that the way we were doing it before. Well, not if the ghost knocks me into it. Yeah, I wasn't sure that the, uh... I guess that I was that was the kind of moment that I was talking about with the pepper. I wasn't sure the pepper was gonna work. I think it comes back up at all, does it? All right, well, that's not the answer, then. Interesting. Why would I want to drop down the right side? No real reason. Yeah, no real reason, because I can get over there normally. Okay, so I shouldn't bother trying to make that happen, given it will do nothing. I'm gonna try to take screenshots of rooms in here that I haven't solved yet. Oh, there's still a chest in them or something. I almost died to that fucking thing again. I just need to get more mantras. There was a lot of clues about mantras that I was kind of ignoring before. Okay, so one of the white pedestals just went away is what that means. Room is this? Room of the sun. So I can call this one unsolved, right? Let me figure out what where it is on the map. So A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F. One, two, five. Are you pooping the bed? Come on. Uh. F5. Cool. This room, I don't think it has anything new in it. one I haven't solved yet. There's two things I need to do with it. I need to get up to that white pillar. I don't know how, so I can't... Maybe I can drop to it, but then I can't flip the room after I drop to it. I think somebody said I can do this pillar now as well, right? There's, there is a way. And that's not gonna work to trigger a weight. Oh, I can't do this one currently? Okay. So probably need a double jump. Confirm what room it is. A, B, C, D, 5. Oh, I can do it? Ah. Let's see if there's something else in this room that I'm overlooking then. I think we said that I can't solve it from inside of this room. I have to come at it from another direction, right? Let's see what I can find. Maybe I can pepper it even if it's on the roof. I'll try that. That was not correct. Okay. Well, it 
let's see, if I flip this thing back, it just switches which side it's on, right? Oh, I see. I didn't realize, I thought it was just going to move it back and forth. Okay, that's way less complicated than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, I lost that thing that I just did, but I can go recreate it. So. Nice. That's where it is, six guns. <laughs> Futurama joke about that when Lilo orders stuff from bulk underpants outlet. You order one pound of underwear. I think I'm okay on pepper uses, though. Not particularly stressed about that. It's fine. Shit happens. I feel like the main character's health and the damage dealt by enemies is much better, much more well-balanced in this game than it was in the previous one. Let's see if I can find another door. Close by, maybe? I think there's anything of importance in that room. There is a door in here. Okay. Really close to getting that full heal. I got a hole in my jeans, jeans that I ordered on Amazon, and I recently ordered exactly the same jeans again. Is that ridiculous? Hmm. I think I can get over there. Do you think I do a running jump? Uh, but no, I'm still gonna... The running jump makes you keep running. Oops. Shit. Well, now I'm fucked. Oh, there's another way into the room. I guess I should save while it's in the correct, uh... ...orientation, regardless. Look, I can easily make it over with the double jump. Don't have that yet, though. So I could drop from the ceiling. I have to figure out what that room is, though. It's two straight down. Okay. Probably how I'm gonna have to do it. I don't know how else I would make it over there. I can try just doing this jump, I guess. I haven't yet. Oh, that was... I think I need to... I don't know why I have this problem with this game, but uh, for some reason, my wireless controller is like janky on La Mulana only. Um, like I'll press and hold a button and she'll keep moving a little bit farther than I expect her to. And my... Controller keeps dying. Maybe there's maybe our neighbors are doing something later in the evenings. It's causing wireless interference. More likely than that, it's a La Mulana specific problem. All right, let's put... so I can make that jump trivially. So let's keep going for that. Wireless usually isn't an issue, but I don't know what the deal is. So. Game's pretty buggy. Yeah. 
It usually is fine, but in something that's precise like that, like, I'll be holding the D-pad and should just keep moving an extra two steps longer than I held the button, which is sure ticket to die. Yeah, was this kind of jumping in La Milana 1? I don't think it was, was it? Jumping up and around like that, you needed to have the, uh... Double jump to be able to do that, or anything like it. I think I saw something that said that there was a... white pillar in here, too. Let's see. I don't think it was one of the ones that was... Yeah, it wasn't one of the ones that was obvious. Oops, I didn't use a pepper. One and one alone survives. I think that's the clue for the next room. I already took a picture of that. All right, let me think about this. Look at my clues here. Puzzle, white pillar, five statues. Ah, uh, I can't do this one yet until I find it. Ra should be sun, which I haven't found those words yet. Just make sure that this isn't a room where I can do it. You said basically all of the scannable reliefs are pretty obvious. So let me confirm where this room is for my screenshots here. This is... C, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wouldn't make sense for it to be heaven. I mean, I guess I can pop them real fast. Not like this. <laughs> Mantras are such a clever system. gonna be sun, I assume. I saw another tablet when I was saving all my tablets from last session. This isn't the dwarf one, is it? Oh, it says blacksmith's room. Wait, I thought I should be able to open this one because I talked to the blacksmiths and got the event flag. Is there anything else I have to do to get the chest open? This is the main reason I came back here, was looking for this particular chest. Oh, there's a block here now. I'm a dumbass. Okay. Never mind. Because they invented the blocks, they said. Alright, so we're going to think about this. I'm going to move this guy slightly so it doesn't get stuck. I'm going to knock it up. That's why there's two ways to flip this room. Co-author. Sure I didn't miss the event flag. Dope. Anchor. Oh, that's the thing that lets you sink in water? Alright, well I know somewhere I can take that. Okay. I think there's one other room. Here's a question. Do I have access to the sun mantra right now? Like, is it somewhere that I can get to? Or even, is it somewhere that I've already been? I do not. Okay, thank you. 
check what's in the western room. That's a great decision. That room, as far as I can tell, only exists so that you can see the pattern. Okay. It shouldn't say MGS5. Does it still say that? I was having issues updating the title. How are you doing, Donovan? I was uh, wow treating you. have that rune yet, so let's take shit. Kill this thing first. Screenshot. This is B2. Bunny 3. Seal 3 is the bunny seal. Amazing zones and quests so far, 10 out of 10. Nice. Glad you're enjoying it. I haven't read that tablet yet. I'm trying to decide if I care enough to go for it. And I got this one. Nothing to solve in this room as far as I can tell. I feel like the function of spikes has been burned into my brain a lot better. Unicorn's room. Oh shit, that's right. I wasn't able to kill this guy before. Because I didn't have enough spears, but I still don't have enough spears. So, I'm going to keep my progress and warp out of here and heal up. But now I know where the unicorn's room is. Uh, let me save it real quick. C1. I gotta start taking screenshots of puzzles that I need to solve still, or I'm never gonna remember them. Spears are in a mortal battleground. Okay. I gotta loop all the way around to get to that room. This is kind of a pain. Let me go get the thing that uses a weight. It's in here. Probably the other warp, right? Yeah, the spears pierce through everything, which is nice. Shit, I'll fuck around that room. I think the alarm's already set. Oh well. Yeah, it totally is. Oops. Acquire the illuminating ring of power. Not have that. It's probably the disc. The chakram. Oh, that's cool. A little projector there. Huh. Interesting. Alvis. Virtue is measured akin to a number of ox hooves. Jada's an ox, right? But I don't have the uh, bunny seal yet. I'm not going to take screenshots of areas that I completely can't solve at all. Just maps that I feel like I'm getting close to being done with. assumption in this room. Right, the discs. Which I don't have yet. Okay. Well, that's unlocked. Uh, mortal Battlefield. Straight up and left. Caution Curry Stank? <laughs> 
This is a joke, right? They're eating curry there before. It's funny. Shit. You sure it's up and left of this work? Is it maybe left and then up? Oops. Should be marked on the map, shouldn't it? Now that I have that thing. Which one means shop? Doors. More left. Okay. Auto battlefield. that I, mini boss that I totally cheesed was. Come on, there you go. It's not too expensive, it's nice. Okay. Let's go try to fight this thing. I wanna try to mark off as much of this zone as possible. I think killing it's just gonna give me a white pillar, but that's okay. The way I'm pretty sure I can take it'll get me there. Oh, shit. They set up the sides of the walls that if you jump into them it knocks you back. I deal with the devil a while ago. Can't do this until we get the sun mantra. Early Dragon Ball character. Might. Oh, that serp. Oh, shit. Come on, guys. Stop it. I'm not super clear on, like, the colors of coins. Dude, you want to get on the bottom, maybe? There you go. Oh, he can jump up and down? I did not realize that before. I think I managed to lock him in an animation before. So that's why I was, like, not worrying about taking damage on the way here. I was hoping I can benefit from animation lock again. There you go. Patch any of the mini boss animation lock exploits. Just need to see people playing it to see it happen. It's not particularly destructive to the experience, but. I think he's supposed to just. If he's on the wrong level with you, I think what's supposed to happen is he's supposed to jump up towards you. Oh, I think I fought him upside down last time. Interesting. Um. I think he's supposed to jump up towards you. I'm 
still gonna die. I'm pretty close to getting my extra health. I just go save. I can't do anything until I get the sun mantra anyway, so I may as well just go save and come back and do the other thing later. The important thing is done. Alright, let's go back and look for more level 2 seals that we haven't procked yet. At some point, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to open all of my screenshots of tablets and just go through all of them and see if any of them remind me of anything. Probably won't be today, as long as we're not, like, actively stuck. <sighs> yeah, I'll try to figure that kind of stuff out on my own. Evil door, I remember now. Or I know there's nothing on the bottom. I may as well check the bottom of every lake I've been to, though. I when you're done jumping for joy is when they get you. I know you swing, swing, swung so slowly underwater. We're checking. Come on, get out of the water. There you go. One spear drop is basically equal to two coins, so I should totally pick it up. Oh, that one now. Uh, as far as this game has gone so far, the space has not been on Euclidean so far. But I can still, I'm basically using the coordinate system to mean when I look on the map, this is what the coordinate is. What you can't do is you can't draw maps and then know that, oh, you know, A1 connects to A2 and to B1. That's the problem. You can still look on the map and it will show you the correct coordinate. But at least in Mala Milana 1, there was a zone or two where moving to the right from A1 wouldn't take you to A2. It would warp you elsewhere in the level. It made it really hard to keep track of it. Crystal Skull. Slightly less exciting. For now, anyway, I'm sure it'll matter later. There's my dude Heimdall, just chilling over here. What's up, Doug? This... Oh, it was here before, that's right. Yeah. Ooh, that was cool. Let's see how we're doing here. Anuman, Ixtab, Honor Generation of the Tree of Space. I think I've fought her yet. Oops. Been here before, but I haven't been up to the top of that room. So let me see if I can warp around the other side and get there, maybe. Uh, I thought maybe scanning it would reveal something different. Did I ever get this? I need some mantra. Okay, it's Earth mantra. I already have that one. Definitely want more mantras. Just moving back to Kujata's room, I think. I don't think I've ever been down from this room. Double check what's to the right first. I keep thinking that gong hit is like the sound of something happening in the level. 
Oh, right. This is another way I could have gone here. Cool. Take your prayer, which I don't have yet. There's my man, Mimir. Hopefully this sign tells me... Golden Rock keeps the crystal from ascending to heaven. Pass to the hand, mark life. Right. Life is the uh, third sigil, right? So, Jed Pillar. Let's try Heaven first, I guess. I guess I'll despawn that annoying thing. It's not Heaven. Because these all just require different mantras. Not Earth. Oh, it was Earth. Cool. Hey. The shield is unbreakable, like the one in Lamelana 2. Oh, well, my cave under repeated fire, but it won't break. There's time on this side. Big idea with that vase, anyway. This is probably a shortcut, I would guess. This game is really good about shortcuts for some reason. You see power invoke the power of Earth. I just did that through brute force, but thank you. It would have helped me out if I hadn't tried it. Oh. Never mind, then. It's two rooms back to back where they wanted, I think. Oh, they're talking about the vase at the top? Oh, shit. They are. Alright, so I can reach that thing. I did not do anything. Can I get this chest right now with the tools I currently have? No? Okay, thank you. I think that's most of this zone. Thank you, Mimir. Row of bros. completely forgot about that. Shit, what else did I do in this zone? Alright, I got a chest down here, and I go get the shield again. Should save after doing special stuff. Didn't deserve that. Crystal skull. I think all I got was a crystal skull and the silver shield, right? Sounds right. Excuse me, Heimdall. in that area. It'll all be in zones that are new to me. Son of a bitch. I want it.
It's not particularly the death room. There we go. Screenshotted. Well, let me read it again because I know what that room is. Golden Rock keeps the crystal from ascending to heaven. Pass to the hand with a mark of life. Right, because I need the life sigil, which I don't have yet. It's the main thing I have to change. I will mark this room since a noon feels pretty close to being done. Let's see what room this is. A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay. Well, maybe another clue we'll talk about three pillars where one of them has a vase on top of it or something. Passageway over there that gets me killed. I'm gonna fuck with that. This is a mimic. Don't think I can do anything about it, although it does appear to be a real chest in addition to being a mimic. He holds a seven children's figurine. Touch your holy grail. So you okay. can't do anything with that. This Kujata, it's just a shortcut from there. That guy's just like a dude in a business suit, so I keep reading him. There's an infinite number of those bubble bobble guys, so that was kind of them to reset me there. But in that northeastern most room, I think that's just Kujata's room. All this does is go to an NPC up in the corner. Son of a bitch. I think. Kill Bubble Bobble easily. I just won't worry about it. Snapshots, right? Okay. Oh, I wonder why you can stand there. Now. Elevators like this, were these able to exist in Mamalana 1? I thought Mamalana 1 entities couldn't really exist off screen. It seemed like there's a similar rule in the Japanese zone we just unlocked. You're able to do shit with it. Oh, those ledges have no purpose. Right. Save and scope out the rest of the zone from here. go up from here. Let's go talk to Fairy King again to see if he has anything new to say. Gird still my heart, so through like if you're in tribute. A flame torque. This body will not last yet. Oh, 
What does this guy say? Fairy King's Mausoleum. Those spikes are so suspicious. Like, I wonder why they're even there. Okay, I have any call to go right here. I keep thinking that gong means that I did something good. Pretty sure that's a fake door in the center there. Yeah, who's that, Aki? Stroll and game epic use. What what did he do that was trolling? What do you say? I think I may have seen the comment, but I don't remember it. You were doing that room, as far as I can tell. Already got that. Seem to give the same bad advice for every question. Regardless of whether it was relevance. Cheesy tactic that wastes time. I need to find a way to come up with one of those for all kinds of different games. I'm pretty good with on noon for now, except for the other stuff that I already marked. So if you want to do the battlefield. I'm trying to think about what other zones I haven't I haven't fully re-explored uh, routes. And maybe fight what's his nuts now, um, Nidhogg. I need to get more of the uh, flare gun though. Cause he's just joking around, right? Sounds like. I think I was in the midst of fully re-exploring this area when um, I ran into the Dwarf Brothers and got their shit, and then I got the boat, and then I went and fought Kachata, but I don't remember if I finished re-exploring everything, so I'll check. So it's gotten a bug version of every game. Alright, I think I'm done with the dwarves. It's cool though. Yeah, I was like over in this area exploring. Unfortunately, this zone is small enough. I haven't done this room yet. This one where I have to cling to Odin. I don't have the deity's words yet. So I can take a screenshot of this. Uh, let's see, what room is this? B2? Thanks, Happy AFK. Search. Odin's Mantra. Always do it if I use the analog stick. Can never do it if I use the deep end. I wonder if they tested it on an analog stick. Just for funsies. 
yell at you if you use the wrong mantra, because that would be funny. The mantra system is so clever. I wonder if they came up with the flavor or the mechanic for that first. Basically a way to make a puzzle that requires information from multiple different sources. So I gotta find the feather, which I saw when I was transcribing the, uh, the tablets in order to fight Roman God, it sounds like. So I don't have to do with that thing. Well, I shouldn't get zapped for fucking with it anymore. The lotus thing. Let's see. All right, let me confirm what the deal is with the lotus guy here. Oh, ten. Nice. Uh, lotus. Lotus. to do with the shit that I'm currently doing, so I think that's what I can just read here. If I recall correctly, pressing the weight there causes a bad thing to come out. Although maybe I'm pressing the weight where it stops, because I've seen another panel that was about the Yuga. Hold on. Satya Yuga is the gold age when all virtue is overflowing. Okay. That might be the answer. Well, it seems most likely you would get that right on the first try. Satya, Treta, Dovapara, and then Kali. So if we know Satya is... Oh, you know, I bet I know what it is. I bet that we're going to figure out a specific order we have to do them in. I haven't tried bronze yet, so I'm going to try that here. Yeah. So it's Satya, Treta, Divapara, Kali. So Satya is gold, Treva, Diapara, Kali. And then I haven't found something yet that tells me the order I'm supposed to go in. But it seems like I'm definitely supposed to start with gold. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta get more resources. Let's deal with the chalice room. Cup of Soma. Cup. Alice. Nope. Nope. I don't think I have anything for this one yet. I can get to the other side to see what they want for me there. There's a red eye in this room, which really hurts. I guess I should take a screenshot of this, huh? Cup room is what? A, B, C, D, 1. And then this one is D, 2. Which is the Lotus room. One of these I want to drop down through. This is where the boat was before. So this room's done or should be done. I 
wonder if any of the Kickstarter backers added or were allowed to add uh, clues that were like red herrings supplied to a random room. Not really. I've been to a bunch of rooms and wrote down some clues, but I found the Lotus Room and was trying to figure out the whole Yuga thing. I know that the Golden Age is called Satya Yuga, but I haven't found any details about the other ages. I already scanned that. I guess I'll double check just to make sure. One of the first ones I grabbed, I think. That was the Heaven one. Okay. So I think this zone is pretty much tapped out, other than the screenshots I just took. I can't do anything in this room until I have the next seal. Which I'm not going to get for a while because I just got the second seal. This room's already done. This is the time stone thing. Interior chamber. It's uh, A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. What I'll do is I'll save all of these off stream with the text that I type on the screenshot. And I should just be able to search for time stop or whatever later on. It'd be very convenient. I, haven't, I don't think I've found a mantra in this zone yet. I might be able to... I've got most of that prophecy so far. I might be able to try Nidhogg again, now that I have uh, 20 of these flare gun shots. Oh right, I did get the mantra app here. I, do you get the mantra app with the first mantra that you scan? Or it specifically comes from that one thing further up north from here? Oh, I wonder if I can flare gun this yet. Hmm. Still need to be able to put fire in that. Flare gun, I guess, doesn't count. It's got to pop at a very specific place. Okay. that one specifically. So. Oops. Train an AI to solve the puzzles. Probably have to do it through brute force. Room this one too. I'm just gonna scope it out again real quick. I'm gonna buy some weights again soon. I'm running low. Oh, this room. Okay. Traces of poison. Oh. Already taken care of. Imagine you could train an AI to play through the game. And teach it, like, the sound that says you did a good job and the sound that says you failed and what the game over screen looks like, so you can disincentivize it from running to a game over. Um, and then you can tell it to basically try every item in the game on every tile of the game. It'll take a really long time, but I think it's technically possible. That's Nidhogg. I'm not ready for him just yet. I just want to Scope out the rest of the zone first. I think an AI could like understand the the puzzles though. I don't know. Especially since it's like making a a lot of the times it's understanding that the text in a puzzle is referring to an art object. I don't know how you would connect the art to the word. Yeah. 
Oh no, that's that's what I was saying. That the only way I could envision it solving the puzzles in the game is by moving to every tile and trying every combination of every ability and item until it brute force solves all of them. Just by letting it learn that it did the right thing by feeding it the thumbs up when it gets the sound effect that says you solved the puzzle, right? So like, it might eventually learn, oh, you know, whenever I see this time stone thing, I have to use my time stop power next to it. Because every time I've done that in the past, I recognize this configuration of pixels, it's given me a happy sound effect. But what I don't think you could do is I don't think you could teach it to like actually associate the images with each other. Or the images with uh, words. Yeah. I'll give you an example of a puzzle when I get to one that I think would be difficult for an AI. It's all based on, like, uh, keywords, though. So, okay, here's an example. The trickster sealed by the goddess who invites the world's end shall be a curse to an eternity of poison. The ultimate solution to that puzzle was that there was a room where there was a snake's head sticking out of the side of the wall, and it was dripping poison on an NPC's head over and over. It's Loki, right? So, like, how do you get an AI to understand that the trickster is that character? that the dripping colored liquid is poison, and that the snake's head is the thing that you need to attack to destroy to, to save Loki. Smart enough phone. That does not work. We need to shoot it higher? Ah. Okay. It's not gonna be enough to kill him. Or maybe it will be if I come back and don't miss so many shots. I think this is the cheap way to beat him, though. Right, Nidog's dead. First try. I'm gonna be as good as the day you win the Hey, it's my dad and my grandpa. Bye, dad and grandpa. This path is a freezing one. The frozen tree top resided over the guardian Modgood. You must pass the frozen pillar to proceed. This is probably a shortcut here. I've been here on the other side of that statue. Tempted to go scan that skeleton down at the bottom, but shit. Is not how that I expected that to work. Oh right, this is where I got the uh, glove so I can grip onto walls. Uh, let's warp out of here. Oh shit! Yeah, let's warp out of here. I should have died as I touched that lava, but looks like I pressed the button at exactly the right second. Let's go back through Nidhogg's room here. I guess we don't really have to anymore. Now I can go here. Poison lava, man. It's not screwing around. I think this isn't gonna really be efficient, but so I can get out of there easily enough. World Tree Exhaust has three main routes. I found entrances at the end of two of the routes, but I'm not able to find anything at the end of the third route. Huh. Third route leads to the land of the dead. Figure out what the end of the route means.
refrigerator. What is that? Ice mixed in with that there water. Even with the skills here, the cold's probably gonna chip away at your health. Okay. Well, there's some solution to be had in here still. I don't know what it is. There's still an eyeball in this room. That doesn't have the ice as a fake floor. Now I thought on these I could press the jump button to. What's the button that you? Oh, I think I might have a message about it. Hold on. Toward the pillar. Okay, it does work. I need to jump up from here. Try doing the uh, analog stick with it. That did not work. That's a really long walk if I fall. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna. I try to do prestige updates at the uh, beginning of the month when I do a. Um, Subscriber database update, Yahan, so I'll get to it. Like five people. Got it. So, this is a hell of a walk back if I fuck it up. This is a less brutal walk back, but still a walk back. And I end up taking a bunch of damage. Probably my best bet to keep practicing this. There's another thing I can do other than just moving through the ice pillars. Shit. What I need to do is I need to move through, I need to latch onto that ice pillar and then jump to the right so I can go through the right wall there, but the clinging mechanic is super janky and I only get one try. If I could reset it wouldn't be so bad. I'll give it a couple more tries and then maybe we'll try to do something else. I think clinging and jumping out of water are my two least favorite things I'm on the lawn. But everything else feels pretty tight, well designed. Come on, are you serious? Get down. Especially don't like that this requires you to press buttons that do other things, like jumping. Oof. Yeah, it's hard. Ugh. And then that happens. <laughs> hey, Soreness, how's it going? How you been? Yeah, music in this game is pretty dope. Yeah, I'm trying. It's uh, it's very, very, very janky. Like I have to press up to hold onto the wall, and then I have to press toward the wall and jump in order to pop on the other side. Which the game already doesn't like me holding up in order to hold onto it. And uh, jump while you're on the ice, you start sliding down it. It's really interesting, Spikey. Yeah, I've always had trouble with him, even in the first game. Shit. Nope. I got on the thing. Is that what I'm supposed to do here? I assume I'm correct, right? I'm supposed to jump onto that ice stalactite, hold into it, and then loop around to the other side and then fly over. 
That's good to see service. That is the correct solution? Fuck. Alright, well, I should just keep trying it until I get it. Maybe I can do it with mouse and keyboard? Did you play this with a controller, Spikey? Hold up, right, and mash A. Yeah, see, that's what I was doing. Try it with the mouse and keyboard. It's an Xbox One problem. I guess it'll be there'll be no ambiguity with arrow keys. Game is really hard to control with that when you're used to a controller. Yeah. Arrow keys, I did it without even having to try it multiple times, so just keep that in mind. Flow of water you wish to defy, the treasure of the dwarves will serve. So that's, oh yeah, the anchor. I already know that. And up a ladder. Mod good. Seek audience with the mistress of hell. Yep, I should still be on. God, I just gotta get to bed before midnight tonight because I gotta wait, watch Cameron in the morning. First, enter the eternal prison. Enter the eternal prison just with the horrible bird Vidofnir. The power of flame. Searcher's wife Samara possesses the power of flame. You need the light scythe. Oh my god. That's. Holy shit. To do like five things. Okay. Is there something you can do? I've already talked to people that talk about the underworld. Maybe they'll unlock new stuff now. Water flows from the eye of chaos. It watches the conflict between angel and demon and weeps at the disparity in power. Secret hidden by the golden rock, hidden behind the wall, pinned by the golden rock. Yeah, so there's a couple ways you could find that solution, I guess. It's also the uh, Mimir bust. That's what I think was he was saying. There'll be a new dialogue now. Probably the anchor. Healing would be rad. Yep, Sacred Orb is what I was hoping it would be. Krakens, man. Some people's Krakens. What's the purpose of this? It would be here. I'm happy that my mother and father are pleased with me and their blessing when you see the Maker's Lights. Okay. So west is the room with the grapple, so I don't need to do anything there. Shit. Oh, that's so much money. But once I start hitting the spikes like that, Sucks. Oof, owie. This room is suspicious as all hell. That's what I thought. Can't words in the midst of the ominous twisting swelter. The two words will illuminate day and night. Even the underworld gate where the dolphin awaits. Alright, well I'm gonna go save my progress. Shit. <laughs> I pressed that button when I did. 
Should be able to get there again if I use the uh, arrow keys. And I'll go through Nidhogg's path so I have full health for the fight. Which I think that that's what the uh, Sacred Orb was trying to give to me, but I fucked that up. Shit happens. Oh right, I don't have to wait for that thing, do I? I guess I don't have to walk as far to Nidhogg as I thought I did. I thought this was a much longer... Okay. Let's kill the bat, and then here we go. Come on, for reals. Cracking, lacking. <laughs> I need to be on the elevator anyway, so this isn't a huge waste. I do like how they have like super water and super lava. All right, let's do this. Ratatosk. No ads, please. Oh, he hits like a truck. Jesus, Mr. Tosk. It's not the kind of projectile that I can block. Oh, yeah, that's a dad joke for the ages. I gotta take this fight a lot more seriously. I have them locked. Hopefully I have enough uh, spears to kill them. Crystal skull. Come on. Oh god, if you die. Yeah, he's kicking my ass. What's the name of this zone? I missed it. This is a three soul zone, right? This is the zone that has the bugged boss, right? Is it still bugged? Has this game been patched yet? Right, shit. Gygus went down the path of imitating the mother's power. Sealed in these lands, or in sealed is trusted entirely to Typhon. Peacock tainted by the evil of Eglana. Night six gun. Oof.
We're just looking, just trying to find a save point. I guess warn me if I get to the boss that uh, is Bad News Bears. Oh, these uh, lizard guys, I forgot about them. Turning once will lead to the priestess, turning thrice will lead to the griffin. If I have to fight Ratatosk again, I can be a little bit more... I really want to do that, though. It's probably the map down there. It's not that hard to get back here, but I wanted to per, uh, save some spears and other resources. Yes. Well, it is kind of a walk. That's okay, I can do it though. Gotta go to roots, and then I have to do the ice pillar thing that I was trying to avoid doing again. But it looks like I can do it trivially so long as I'm using my keyboard instead of my gamepad. Maybe it's an Xbox One D-pad problem. The analog stick was giving me trouble too, I don't know. Oh, I'm happy to hear it, Serpent. I'm not the sole crazy person. I just, for whatever reason, it does not want to work when I try it. But if I hit the D-pad, or I hit the arrow keys, it just works first try without even any trouble at all. It's a bit of a walk, but I'd rather be here with full health. Let's go this way, because this likely leads to a map, I think. I hate those unkillable skeletons, they're annoying. Typhon Slumber is ongoing. Propose Arachne, Scylla, Griffin, and Glass of the Bulls. Called it. The game is so formulaic. See down the path where backs face each other. Get up there. Yeah, I'm gonna not fight it and go do other stuff for now. Um, I do con Hermes, third children, the Olympians. What's the name of the boss that's bugged? I'll just leave the room if I run into it. I like it very much. I really enjoyed La Milana 1. And so far, I think this game is uh, improving in most ways. Is it possible for me to not encounter the bug? Or is it, like, guaranteed to happen? So I can always save, fight it, and if I don't get the loot, try again and so on. Eros. That is not how I envision Eros. It's Cupid, basically. Math teacher mustaches are sexy in Japan. 
A lot of these things are machines in a lot of cases. Strong light. Hmm. Shiny pillar, which means I can do this. That's cool. Maybe that's why they plant that so much, because there's so many different places where it matters. I'm gonna fucking die. Okay, guess not. Uh, they're basically the same god. Cupid is the Roman version. This probably expects that I have the double jump. Can't do anything there until I get double jump. I'm guessing is the rocks feather thing. Crushed. Hey, save point, nice. I will read the cap, don't worry. Those who turn the celestial bodies thrice shall see hell. This might be the wheel we were reading about earlier. Hold on, what's the name of this room? Celestial Disc, yep. I have a note about this. Let me look it up really fast. I think it was the Heaven Mantra, I want to say. Disc. Word that represents Heaven. It's cool, it's one of my first cross-screen puzzle solves, I think. <laughs> It'll give me hell if I do it too many times. Good morning, Kaihan. Have a good day. Oh, I did it three times. Are you kidding me, game? For real? <sighs> really? So you could see how many times you've rotated it? Yeah. See if rotating that affects this next room at all. Is there any difference between the different arms? I guess the only thing I can tell is that there's an asymmetry in the circle. Yeah, the pattern on the cross looks the same every time to me. Now I've done it way more than three times, and I don't know which one it is. Uh, so doing that three times, does that change what's happening in another room? How does that work? I 
Too much protect an ancient key. Okay, well, don't tell me how it works, but it affects something on another screen, right? Well, I know right away if... I'll know right away, okay, thank you. There's that super bright light. That's something that I read today, though, so... So here we go. Typhon can be reawakened under strong light. That's what it was. So I gotta set up some mirrors, probably, maybe. Teleport to another zone and bag it resets its position. I can see it sticking out here. It's helpful. Nice. Be tricky to get to though. Go refill my health anyway. Sorry, this is another case where I was. Distracted by a puzzle, I asked a question and didn't pay attention to the answer. Is the griffin bug guaranteed to happen to me? Like, what's stopping me from saving, fighting the griffin, seeing if I get rewards for it, and if I don't get rewards, loading my save and trying it again? The problem is if I fight the griffin and I don't get the rewards, and then I save after that, right? Yeah. One... Three. Never registers if he's dead. Warp in the same zone, I'm probably fine. Can't get further in that room. So what else we can find? Oops. It's Typhon. Ah. Uh, I wonder what you're getting as a wife. So, a maintenance computer. So I gotta get these light beams to come into this room. I see. Clever. That was efficient. Cute. There's a light beam. A real door? I'm gonna type on right. Is this a mural or Devil mural. Demon faction of the Olympians. Who's on the left? Oh shit, okay. Was a one-way warp. Hmm. Oh, that thing is.
So I could rotate it and then warp in the same zone and see if it stays rotated. Hold on. back to its previous orientation. I guess I won't know for sure though, because if I do it three times... The only asymmetry that I can notice would be the same. Okay, warping within the same zone does not reset it. So let's try warping out and then back in. Previously, it was facing... Alright, up, down. It's still up, down, that's worrisome. Okay, it resets. Fantastic. Right, one, two, three, whatever that means. Redirect this light. Not a near shield type situation. Probably way to get further to the northeast, as far as I can tell, at least. Orpheus! Harp can bring those of the underworld to tears. Once is the underworld to see my dead wife, but her song of paradise. Oops. In the belly of the crawling internal fiend. Infernal fiend. Okay, so I know the enemy that's the crawling fiend. I'm going to get into this room from below. So that's a double jump type situation as well. Secret shop. Okay. I didn't find that when I was in here before. Right, because I probably need to be able to double jump to get through there. Okay. Okay. The Naked Man. Let's remember when we get double jump. I think I have some clues. Let me see if I can find out. One sec. Pretty sure the feather does that. Where was the corridor of blood? I remember finding it forever ago. Was it? There was one in Valhalla. Okay explore that more anyway. I found a tablet that was like, I need the fire and the earth mantras at the true throne. Just trying to figure out how we find out which throne is the true throne. Sure. 
life force known as Yoten, the Frost Giants. I like the liberties they take with Norse mythology in this, it's very cool. Just talking to people again, just in case. I think from when I was writing down the files from before, I think Brahma is going to be important eventually. Connected to creations, probably that egg I picked up. That's the bunny seal. Weights, gotta remember weights. I think I was, we were calling it that in uh, level one of one because we had to remember what each of them were. That's pointless. No reason to be in the water at the bottom, right? That may have been your idea then too, but. Purple cat monster. Okay. I'll talk to this guy. He's like a hot shit pantheon, right? Gengar? Yeah. Now our race is finished. Our rolls are over. There it is. Yeah. Can you behind me? Get fucked. Exactly. Corridor of blood. Whoa. I think that happened last time I came here. It's got the Star of David over it. I don't even think about using the shield when we fell. Okay, so they're only vulnerable. This isn't gonna tell me when they're vulnerable, isn't it? Guards them against all four-armed. They strike back at releasing their aura, which might become vulnerable. So. Rainbow Serpents. Not a sheep, but a cow monster. <laughs> Probably wait to read those until I'm at a save point. Because I keep reading them and then dying. Pillar of Swirling Light. I don't have a map for this place yet. Oh yeah, I forgot, we got, god damn it. When did I save last? Has to have been recent, right? Oh, okay. Oof. So I haven't found anything in Valhalla, so it doesn't matter that I died after going through all those rooms. There's nothing in any of them. Nothing has been lost. I died to that guy the exact same way last time. Let me finish exploring Valhalla real quick before I go in the Corridor of Blood. I haven't been here in forever. There might be a Earth Seal. There's a... This is the... One that's supposed to respond to Heaven, I want to say. The lady inside that house says that. Thanks, dude. Do not touch the spiraling light. Burn anything not born of this land, the cinders. Okay. Hey. That's the seal that I need. Okay. Oh, look at that. 
Like it. Clever, clever. Oh, right. I got a new uh, mantra. Dope. Yeah, Mega Man, I'll try to figure it out on my own. If I get stuck, I'll ask for help. Fire! Sweet. So I think that may have been... Hold on. Is that the one with the true throne? Yeah, fire and earth. Okay. So I can just try every throne, assuming there's no penalty for giving it a try. Stuck after that, it's okay. Alright. Do you get mad at me for doing it in the wrong place? No. Okay, so that's one. Throne's probably somewhere janky. Two. Probably some other clue that tells you which throne is the real one. Probably the one by asshole. Three. Yeah, it's probably the one that's in there. So I can't get in there yet. So I can try all the other ones. Six. Not a throne in that room. I ate some distance in there. Just need to be able to get into. I found another tablet that was hinting at Sakit's shoulders. I'll have to do that eventually. Oh shit. Oh, but I only have two of those, right? It'll be an end game unlock. I should save that though. Power altar. That's A B C D two. Seven thrones that I've tried, eight. Nine, this is probably a shortcut down here. So that leaves 10 is the throne 
of the boss statue, which I can't get to yet. And, uh... 11 and 12, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go over right this way. I don't think I've ever been up there. Okay, so it's probably that one. It's fine. I'll go heal and we'll go fight that boss that I ran away from, like... I want to say like nine hours ago. I found that zone pretty early. I may have also been really low on health. The boss that drops ice blocks on your head. I was there a really long time ago and just completely forgot about it. I think I was just like, oh, I'll come back when I have more health. May as well have the shield out most of the time. I hope this dev makes Lamba Lana games forever. It's like Miyazaki. It doesn't need to be set in the same universe. We make this kind of game forever. I don't know if anyone else can really do it. Of the game. Music too. And she's almost, she's barely vulnerable. It's crazy. Alright. Don't drop an ice block on me, please. There's a pattern to the rate at which the ice blocks appear. Figure out what weapon I want to use. It'd be another good spear boss. Spears are kind of busted. I guess I could maybe use like the rolling shurikens. Super big, eh? Thanks, small perk. It's like the metal blade, right? It's like all the bosses are weak to it for some reason. It's a cool little flavor thing with the curry stink. Give me a bunch of spears. this thing. I survived longer on that attempt than my other two. The other two I just walked in the room and immediately got crushed like, oh, what's this cool ice block that's above me? Oh. Penny pension, what about spears? Is there really a, that much of a difference, though, in Mega Man 2? I feel like all the bosses took extra damage from the... But I gotta stay on this floor where I cannot die. Do you not take damage? Oh, interesting. Puzzle boss? 
so much for all these spears. I think I need to get it to fall on his head. Am I correct that this boss doesn't take damage from weapons normally? Ah, uh, I am correct. I think. Right, well, now that I've figured it out, I've got not enough hit points to beat him, but we should still be okay, I think. I can plan it out well enough. Neat. Yeah. Treasure's not more of them. Wait, really? Involves the blocks. Hold on. Okay, I think I see what I have to do. Really? That wasn't what I was expecting to happen just there when that thing got shunted out of place. I can do since I can see my reflection in them. No. Okay. Hmm. Can I do anything in this room right now with my current tools? Anyway, what does that change? I can. Previously, so the thing that changed was this block was previously pushed into the wall on the left. That worked. Oh, huh. weird. Now I hear a sound effect like the block is trying to continually move into that wall. Huh. Uh, does it involve the use of any items? Or is it just block manipulation. I guess answer, answer the first question. Does it involve any item usage? No. pushes up against the wall it means that I can stack the blocks. So I think stacking them is still the right idea. Keep trying. So push this one here. Nothing happens. Push this one here. Can't do anything with that. 
push this one here, and I can push it against the wall. Then I get like it's stuck in the movement spot, and then nothing happens while it's it's like constantly sliding to the left. You can see a little particle effect, and that's not doing anything. And this one is like a pixel higher for some reason. Hmm. Um, I'll accept the tip. Oh shit! Okay. Well, so much for getting that thing. Oh, thanks. Good looking out, uh, sir. All right, it's time for healing. It's not a scannable mural, right? Destiny Tablet is the proof of dominion handed down by the Sky People. Aninaki lured Anu set the Fierce Beast Anzu to guard it. Data's text constitute a belief system and believes that when we reach death, we return to water. Oh shit. Hmm. It's a lot of weights. Let's get to that thing at the bottom. So I've got two statues that are praying that I can move. If I search all my tablet text for prey, I'm gonna find a fucking shitload. Yeah, I thought so, game. Cut your shit out. Probably not what they want. Probably drop through here. And not to the floor. Not all the way. Well, I'll go save. I know, right? Um, does that, uh, the scam weight thing there, pedestal, uh, is that involved in solving a puzzle in that room at all, or is it just a troll? Just so I don't waste a bunch of weights playing around with it. How did I get there? Valhalla. Pour of blood. It's just a troll. Okay. Thank you. Pretty good Lana Lana vision in this game for where Trap should be. I like that they mess with you a lot with that. And of course I still get caught like six times out of ten, but... Alright, so I guess question number two. Can I do anything in that room with the two praying statues? I'll look up my tablets here in a second. to work again. It's okay. Anything useful? Thank you. <laughs> Anything at all? I could always dance and eat sushi, apparently.
there's a statue that's in here. I push them together. Ah, cute. This looks like hell. You gotta be jamoking me right now. I'm glad I waited to come there. Did not do anything. Book of Poly United by Indra, priest who has power over storms. Okay. Oh, yeah? Serious about that? I don't know about that. So, often lives at a Draxel's Peak. It's the eagle that. It hogs arguing with, I think. Let's deal with this thing. Conflict among the second children was orchestrated by Abudo, flame that fell entirely on Sakit's shoulders, who has banished the underworld. Oh. Intestines pecked for eternity. Statue of Burglemir, grandson of Ymir. Huh. Hmm. Something with crystal skulls. Wouldn't know what the pillar would be. I don't know what that guy would do. It's not Brahma. No idea. It's a secret shop in here, really. Oh, there's some horse shit down there. It's probably behind this giant ice pillar that I can't attack. I'm gonna die in that long hallway there. Unscannable skeleton. It's unusual. Might be slow enough that I can use the gale thing to get past it. Should I go any other way since I can only drop down so far? Touch the wall, maybe, and get on the outside of it. I don't know the angle that it's at, it looks like. Super weird. Because yeah, the blood's not there the first time you go there, right? So I don't remember it being there. Yeah, music's goofy. Creepy though. Oh, shit. Right, I didn't do it in this save. Whoops! I was even thinking about it on my way there. I'm like, I'm gonna have to do that puzzle or statue pushing again. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I already did that. The game will remember.
the background here was purple and swirly. That's relevant though, isn't it? Then I have a... Thought I'd check. Rama and Chaos and Purple Sword. Okay. Oh shit, I already fucked it up tonight. Stays put, not surprising. I might still be okay, let's see. Well, if I do it that way, I'm gonna do the top one first for some reason. Nope, that doesn't work. Patched out something you needed to solve a puzzle. Oof. But that helped to understand the puzzle. Oh, the corridor is different. Come back. You know... It really makes me want to try to get in the outside of it. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Be clever since it uh, does glow. Keyhole. All right, I'll push this thing all the way. Oh, nice. What are your final thoughts on it? Yeah, grats for sure. Wait, what? That was the solution last time. Maybe it was slightly not the solution? Hmm. Did you get a uh, Magus in your party? I don't think I did that on my first playthrough. The ground's not broken. There we go. I think they both have to be pushed a certain distance, and I pushed the one on the right over to the one on the left, thinking that was what it asked for. Oh, that was stupid. Let's see if I can go down this death hallway. Hallway of totally not going to get me killed, like, immediately. Be a permanent shortcut, actually, which would be great. Secret really. I think I've been over there before, I don't remember though. Oh, really? What's the hint for the statues? Cool. What do you think of FF6? Chrono Trigger does it uh, about as well as anyone's ever going to do. It's the only game I've ever seen that justifies the ATB. I 
can't jump from high enough to fall all the way through that snow. Seems to suggest there has to be something on the ceiling there. Maybe not. Ah. <laughs> that's a good secret. Holy shit, that's a good secret. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. Did a good job of teaching me that earlier. Get your shit together, lady. I'd have to get all the way up to the top, I think. Is it a hint for the room? I still don't have the number three. Oh yeah, no, I remember the hint about the deep snow, because we had to do that to get the birth seal. But then I got the context clue that, like, okay, I need to be able to fall from high enough, so the only way that makes sense... I can get up there. I don't have any shenanigans. So I need to have the double jump, I think. It's okay. At least they give you a consolation prize before you get the double jump. Sure as heck know where we aren't in the universe. Really? Alright, I'm not gonna question it. This one is new, isn't it? What did uh, the main character have in the first game? Was it a uh, katana? Oh yeah, we've been here before. How much damage is this guy? See ya, sir. Good night. I'm probably going to bed pretty soon. It's like 11 here. See if I can get to a natural stopping point. Like the range on this thing. It's only two. That's good reach, I guess. Mm -hmm. I still can't melt that ice. I got the life seal. Okay. So there might still be stuff I could do up there, but I think the rapier is the most important thing to get. Um, I don't think I finished re-exploring the mortal battlefield for life sigils. Go see. Found a couple here though. Come down to the very bottom, there's lava and super hot. Not fun with lava just yet. We're still working on that. I don't like the alarm enemies. They're kind of a pain. One I needed was a level three, yeah. So there's another one in a waterfall though, so. Which boss was down here? Right. Caltrops boss. So I don't have the number three seal, so I presumably can't do anything in this room still.
this guy's harp. Gotta give it to Orpheus, probably. This was the weight area. I forgot what was down here, though. The chakra, that's what it was. There's something in here, too. Move the pillar to go through that door. for a while. Uh, it seems to suggest that there, the fact that there's a guy that whistles in this room tells me there's a Sephiroth door somewhere. Must be slightly better DPS with that upgrade. This thing opened up after I got the water to come out. It's probably not, I still can't do anything with it. So I'm on a lot of two. Good vehicle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember that boss. I haven't found the key yet, though. I think it's the golden key they want. The other seal is probably somewhere on this waterfall. I think it's one that I've already found. I'm gonna go warp, because I'm close to death and I need to start attacking stuff where these eyeballs are. About to have a bad time. Just saw the nine soul door on the boat. We have a clue about that too. So I think I'm gonna go for about another 30 minutes. I'm going to go to bed so I can get up early enough to take care of Cameron tomorrow. Uh, that was... So we're looking to see if there's a seal on the left. We're hoping it's a level 2 seal. Or a level 1 seal. But... Very nice. Okay. So there's just supposed to. This is the one that said dragons in error. It's supposed to say waterfalls. Cool. It's a death thing there. I'm going to get into this room, I guess. Convenient. I go ahead and warp back here and save because I'm probably gonna get crushed by that trap there. I feel like almost all of the crushing traps are uh, conveyed with skeletons in this. Oh, I forgot about that as a upgrade. One of the kinder ones. The Nine Soul Door. Oh. Those of us with can harness storms, lightning that strikes them will be theirs to wield. Body can only absorb so much. I wonder if that includes lightning from those assholes. Huh. I thought maybe I could walk on that thing. Guess not. Maybe I can freeze him or something and get across. 
What would the value of going through that door be, though? Nothing. So I need to go there. Great. It's a cool way to build some dread, you know? Time stone thingy. Whoops. I don't think there's anything else I can do in this zone right now. Maybe to the left of where a Heimdall drops you off? I haven't been back that way in a very long time indeed. Is that a statue of Varuna? Oh, this must be another way to get to the... Underworld. Probably a shortcut that I'll unlock. Oh, really? Just walk through that? Wow. Right on. Just cavern, huh? Ooh, mantra. Sun! Very nice. Red chest, so how about a makeover? It's going very well. How are you doing, out of them? Can I open this chest right now? Do I have the tools necessary? Well, it's very exciting to have the sun mantra. I said something about using the sun mantra where I get it to get the moon mantra to look it up really quick sun it's a costume chest not related to in-game play so I can't use it many things in Eglon have been sealed off with the power of mantras most of the power of mantras are hidden I know that we just call upon the mantra of the moon the word is sun the moon's the opposite okay. yeah so I have to use sun somewhere where I guess I'm not seeing mantra text yet. Ra was it? Well, I can finish doing the the white pedestals. Let me go do that. I'll heal up. That was the last thing I was waiting for. There's one that I needed to do. I'm trying to remember where it was. I think I took a screenshot of it. So if you jump out of the top of the cavern there, it takes you down back to the village, be my guess. Let me confirm where these white pedestals are real fast for my screenshots. I got that one already. Now I got that one. The raw mantra. It's seal three, but I don't think that gets me a. Oh, maybe it does. I think I need the third. S I might need the third seal to be able to do all three of these white pedestals. I guess I'll do the raw one though while I'm here. There's a unicorn room. Oh, that's kind of cool. Makeover chests. Those guys still need to undo two. Whoops. Hopefully it doesn't screw me. It would be okay.
people who aren't Kickstarter backers don't haven't figured them out yet. Interesting. In the Dark Knight. This one's supposed to have one in it, I think, isn't it? I may have already gotten it though. Trying to not kill the enemies in case the clue is implying that. Footprints, huh? That's not it. Can't push these. Can I solve this room with the tools that I presently have? Does anyone know? Not I'll come back later, but this is the one that I gotta use uh Sun Launcher. Probably have to be the other direction. I'll head back to it in a second, hold on. Yep, there it is. Nice. This room right here. Key is something about a single footprint. And there should be another white pedestal in this room, I think. There's the name I'm expecting, at least. I just want to know whether it's solvable or not with my current uh, load out the gear that I have. If the answer is no, I need to go get something else first. That's fine. Just don't want to waste a bunch of time in here. Didn't hit the one in the unicorn room. There's a good dig of that. That puzzle is marked as being a uh, white pedestal room puzzle, though. Maybe there was an obvious one in there earlier? I'll show you. Room's called the Room of Dark Night. And the room that I was in where I was thinking there was a puzzle was called the Room of Dark Night. So there's supposed to be a white pedestal in there. Pop back over there real quick, show you what I mean. Room of Dark Nights. There's multiple rooms share a name. Oh, okay. Gotcha, thank you. Totally not worth going for right now.
Those guys screw me up for some reason. They're very similar. They're a very simple enemy. I don't want to let them hit me so much. You were correct. I had not flipped this room yet. That's the last one then. Cool. Not a door. It's also not helpful. I don't think I can go back this way if the save room is flipped though. I guess I'm not sure. Whoops, well, I'll get that thing. I have to flip. I can always work back here after I flip it once too, in case it does let me out of the room and go west. Maybe it will let me go there. Okay. Easy. That's the intended solution then. Right, let's go heal up. I think this will be my last puzzle for the night. Gotta get some sleep babysitting tomorrow. So I'm right, gonna go heal up, save, and then we're gonna go through the raw door and see where it takes us. thing hits you. Okay, so we got that doors open now, which is very exciting. I had to really work for it. Monsters feel way better in this game. I think it helps that you are dealing with them much earlier in the game. They're so critical to the end game of the original La Mulana, but So I think I have to flip this room to get over there, which isn't too bad. It only flips over the x-axis? Huh. But it was a true mirror, I guess so. To go. Dark Lord's Mausoleum. Cool. Seeing a lot of hints about this place. I'm gonna try really hard to find a save point in this zone. Hey, it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out. Giant beetle controls the movement of the sun. <laughs> Oh shit, it's okay. Forfeit the earth for the power of heaven. We will rise to the skyway of the Dark Lord's Pyramid. All right, we have another guy that tells us about that. Oh, clever. Need way to make the ramps relevant. I like the neon X's and stuff, it's cool. Oh god. Look at all the kitties. Oh, this is all the mantras. 
Well, it's kind of a cool way to let you know whether you found all the mantras yet or not. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so what I really should do is I should write down all of these. So I'll find these answers elsewhere. Yeah, it's a really cool puzzle. I feel like that's gonna be a big one that's spread throughout the rest of the game. Is that the prophecy, maybe, finally? Maybe not, okay. Let's say goodbye, Kaihan. down and let's try to write all of the ones we see here. Fire, mother, wind, wind, moon, roof, earth, See, wish, heaven, excuse me, wish, heaven, I can keep track which ones I have, wall, child, Sun and moon on there already, right? Night, eternal. It's a good way to know what all of the mantras are so you can watch out for them as you play the game. Death, which makes sense. So everything has an opposite, it looks like. Scream. Very cool. Best it. It's a really neat way to make sure that you've explored and found the answer. Interesting. How do I touch that symbol? Oh, the staircase. Cool. I so said probably the map is very easy. I see the door at the bottom. I just wanted to get that puzzle out of the way. Oh, and the eyeball's not done yet, so there's still more shit going on here. Hmm. Attack Garuda. It's empty. So I can't jump on Castlevania stairs. Dark Lord could harness storms. Secret. Health drain? So I'm just looking for a save point here. Obtain the crystal that unseals a pyramid. All hidden in this land should be revealed. The truth of the pyramid will be exposed. Okay. 
Oh, you don't think you can always conclude that an open eyeball means there's still shit to do? I think you, I think it does though. I guess I'm not 100% sure. But I think that's correct. I think it always closes when you finish the final puzzle. All right, so there's death down there. Well, I guess, I think there was an area in La Mulana 1 where there was just like an illegal thing. You weren't ever allowed to touch it. There was not a puzzle salt associated with it. There's my secret shop. Let me see if I can find the save point before I go in there. Hey, it's set, my man. A lump of clay trying to pass itself off as a living being. Save panel. Dark Lord's Pyramid lies the Ben Ben Stone. Go to the recognized Lord of the Dark Stars, Murdered the Sith. The Lord of Heaven's Mandate will arrive in Nibiru. It's Sky's Distance. It's one of my skull things. Although, you know, I haven't looked at the skull app in a while. Carry on our will. Sad dumb bodied ones. Puny serpentine dumbasses. It's pretty great. Well, there's the save points. The question then is, can I get to it? I remember these things. Yes. Power of the Feather held by the Dark Lord. Reach ever greater heights. Okay, so I have to have Mjolnir to get the double jump. He's up at heaven from this place, that a hidden relic should be yours. I don't know if in this case they mean do this. Doesn't look like it. So this might be a maybe you can get away with uh, getting damage boosted up. But I don't think they would actually require you to do that in a puzzle. I know where the save point is, just gotta make my way over there now. Amen Ra. One more needs to be absorbed. So that's different based on what's happened in the game so far. I just saw a blue thing come out of my body. Should I have recognized what that was? Dark Lord's Pyramid is a means of obtaining the power of the sky. Only those who have acquired the Dark Lord's power will be there to enter. Oh, the NPC leaving that little room. Pick free 50 coins? Sure. Oh, he's gone now. So close. Hmm. I see the thing that I have to get to to get out of the room. I hit it with the spear.
wonder if that counts as heavy enough. Oh wait, I see how to get over there. I like the the staircase shenanigans. Kind of see how to get over there. Shit. There's a staircase that should be maybe up from here. We'll see. Oh, Age of Silver, and virtue declined and people came to lead on ceremony. And I've now found two of the Yugas. I saw there's gonna be a story, and that's gonna be the order in which I have to stop the Lotus Wheel on eventually. I just saw the Dark Lord, I summoned my mantra, I summoned where the period I saw the lofts. Is there a staircase here? There totally is. Nice. This be what I need right here. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's a really cool secret. I dig it very much. Part of the sky people is hidden amid an ancient chaos, the manifestation of the power that will destroy Eglon, huh? I feel like that's not even that obtuse, because it's like... You know you need to get into this room, so you look at every angle and try to like reverse engineer how you fit in. You see the little staircase in the corner there. Are you serious? That was brutal. Intensely rude. Downright mean. Whatever you want to call it. Why would there be a bridge there? I didn't even think about it, I just wanted to save. I was like preparing myself mentally to uh, to press the button that would let me warp there. So I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, got a new area. Got a bunch of new mantras, just made lots of progress, shitload of screenshots that I'm gonna have to transcribe, but no big deal. Would you say that the how long to beat is gonna be fairly accurate at the pace I'm currently taking? Granted, I'm just curious if there's any way to tell given how much faster I'm getting through stuff by asking for help sometimes. I hope it's longer because I want to keep playing this game forever. Sweet. Hard to say. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out as always. Let me wrap up here and let you know what's coming.